Marketing wise, I've been doing a lot of helping individuals to literally become all they can be in their own individualized practices. In professional services, we are really selling ourselves and we're trying to figure out what's the best way to promote ourselves in a way that makes sense to us, but also makes sense to our true authentic soul. I usually call this the spirit of your company, and the spirit of your company is what today we really need to be looking at in terms of the upcoming presidential elections and the campaigns in which they're putting forth. I've made a few comments to a few of the gals who are putting their hats in the ring. I've literally, in the ring, I've literally said to them, look, you have to lead with your strength, you have to lead with who you are, and you have to focus solely on those things that you know, love, and trust about your own litigational capabilities. And what I mean by that is your own actual language, your linguistic capabilities is really what I'm trying to push forward towards, is that who are you as a soul? It's that soul that has to shine above all others in promoting yourself in a campaign. At the same time, it has to be your standard lexicon of language that you've either published in a book or utilized time and time and time and time again to promote yourself, not only in your own state, but in a way that makes sense to the rest of the world. You see, we've got a lot of ladies right now talking about women's rights and things like that and reproductive rights, which is important to men just the same because obviously it is our opportunities to make families that help a woman to also make a family. But those are not the most important things to people today. What we're interested in most and foremost is a president that will not lie to us. You see, when a president lies, it gives the rest of the nation the freedom, the license, and the willingness to lie. It is the liars of the land that have destroyed the greatness of this country. It is the liars of the land who have ruined rights for many people across the world. It is the liars of the land who have stolen things from people's property, have swiped their legal documents and pretended to be them. It is the liars of the land who have literally projected themselves above all others in this immoral, illicit, and illegal way. When I use those three eyes, I'm talking about the fact that it is literally illegal to take someone's property. It is immoral to take on their identity, and it is illicit to define yourself by someone else's possessions. That is really what I'm talking about here. And what I mean by that is the very own possession of our body. So when it comes to human rights and reproductive rights, what these women are really talking about is not just a woman's right to say yes or no, to having uh, their abilities to decide whether or not they want to have a child or keep a child. What we're really talking about is a human being's right to say yes or no to any type of concept of physical health care. And that's where we really need to get to go in this physical election year. You see, most men aren't going to care too much about spawning a child because it makes them feel some prowess. And I hate to say it that way, but that's sort of how I've seen men handle things. They've got a few kids here, a few kids there, a few kids everywhere. They feel good because they've produced offspring. They may not be financially or legally responsible for them all, and that's really a shame. But in reality, it's the woman who is impacted the most, obviously for natural reasons, for that sexual situation and that sexual in, um, uh, liaison that they had. But the reality is when I'm talking about this in adult terms, I'm talking about that every human being in this land has the right, under my idea of Mark's law, to their own physical being. I have had horrible experiences with physicians and other people who thought they literally had the right to my body. I was just yesterday held down by five police officers and given a shot for something I did not need, nor did I want, nor could they explain to me what it was for or what its effects would be on my body. I think that's outlandish. It's outrageous. I am not saying that women's rights are not important. What I'm saying is every human being's rights with regard to their own body and what will and will not be put in it is their lawful right. And politicians need to get on the bandwagon before some man comes along and takes it away from these women who know what the hell they're talking about. The women who are putting their hats in the ring are very intelligent. They're very bright minds. They're very well read. They're very literate. They have written many works on their own ideas. But openly, we have to get to this point in this land where people understand that where their rights begin and end is with their own physical being. Once we have that established, we lose other things like rape, we take away human trafficking, we take away the selling of body parts, we take away a lot of other things once we get on the bandwagon of the right to my body is mine, the right to your body is yours, and that's where the political realm needs to go. Now this has been Blake Ensign of Blaze Communications LLC, normally a marketing firm and a Japanese language program. Unfortunately, someone thought they'd deny my rights and steal all my work 
my entire 15 years of intellectual property thieved off hard drives, literally maliciously taken, intentionally taken because of what was left on the drives, and openly destroyed an entire life's work in a matter of a few minutes. Now that's outrageous. Intellectual property is also something that belongs solely to the individual unless they choose to allow someone else through an agreement written preferably to allow them access to those things. Those are the rights we need to be talking about right now because our intelligence, our creative thought, our creative abilities, the certain types of jewelry or other things that we make to provide for ourselves a life literally belong to us. And I've had those things stolen too. So when I'm talking about these things in support of the politicians out there, I'm talking about this from a real perspective, a real idea that we need to stop these people who think they have the right to keep monkeying in our lives and making monkeys out of us. Now when I tell my real story, I tell it because I'm not only needing a good lawyer, but I'm needing people to understand that if it can happen to me, just a simple little guy in the middle of Indiana, Indianapolis, Indiana, it can happen to any person in the land that someone will say, I'm going to take your rights away from your body, from you. And that's in essence what this rights concept is about women's rights to their own fertility. It's no different from a man or a woman or a child. We all have rights to our own beings, our own physicality, our own abilities to say, no, I don't want that in my body. Thank you very much. Now, when I talk like this, I expect someone to really be listening. And I expect someone else to literally be allowing me the right underneath the First Amendment to speak my piece as a journalist, which I've now been pushed back into because of all the things that have gone on in my life that have been inappropriate and inappropriate, if that's the better pronunciation, for my life, that someone else thought they'd literally just do to me out of the fun and power of trying to do it and get away with it. In life, we have moments of time to make all the difference in the world for a person. Tomorrow, I'll need some prayers because I've got people trying to literally steal my rights away and people don't seem to care unless it's their rights, and that's our problem. We need a female president who understands how to care and concern for other people, not so selfishly slow like so many of these men have done. They've all lied, got into office, and then they change all their policies, and then we're stuck with what they decide to go with in the moment's notice instead of what they prepared, what they planned, and what they promised. Now, once again, this is Blake Anson of Blaze Communications LLC saying, let's start with the most fundamental human right, the most fundamental human right is the right to our own personhood, our own physical being, and that covers everyone and every condition that's out there. Thanks for listening.